Welcome to the CJ Nerf Channel, where today we're going to review the Dart Zone Max Striker. Let's get it inside and see what we're working with. So the Dart Zone Max Striker is a spring-powered mag-fed blaster, which actually shoots pretty hard. Claims ranges of 125 feet can be found at Target for the price of $49.99 and is designed for ages 14 plus. With a lot of things coming in this box and very versatile platform with being able to fire two different types of ammo as well as compatible with Nerf darts and their magazines, man, there's a lot to love with this platform. So let's get into this box and see what we're working with. Now this is what the base striker is going to look like straight out of the box. You got a Picatinny rail up on top and a buffer tube stock attachment point on the back with three different adjustment points. So here's the stock to slide it on, press this button up and then adjust it to the desired location of whatever's comfortable for you. They actually provide you with two adjustable iron sights, one for the back and one for the front. So if you choose to run iron sights, that's kind of what it's gonna look like. Now they also provide you with this kind of cool ACOG. So to get this one on, you're simply gonna pull off the back one, slide this one up on, and then slide this one back behind it. And as you can see, not bad for the crosshairs on that ACOG. They also do provide you with an aesthetic muzzle brake on the front if you so choose to make your blaster even look cooler. Dartone also made the striker platform very versatile. It allows you to fire two different types of ammo. You have your standard waffle head or elite darts. These are from Dart Zone actually, which you can actually load. Or insert the mag adapter and grab your half length dart mag and put that up there. Reload and bang. Another key feature to point out is the safety and fire button, right? When this is out, it's in safe mode. You can't pull the trigger. When that's pushed in for the F, that means you're able to fire the platform. How does this thing shoot out on a range? Let's find out. Wow, that's accurate. Wow, no problems at all. Man, it's hard not to like the striker. Power is there, but the accuracy, as we all know with the lead darts, leaves a lot to be desired. This should be a fun test at 100 feet. Let's see. Hit one, hit two, a little short. Wow. So after putting the striker through its full paces out on the range and just playing around with it a lot, I gotta tell you, I am blown away by the comfort and the performance of this blaster. This just feels like it was made for your hands. I mean, the cheek rest is really nice when you're aiming down the sights. The safety feature right here is very easily accessible. You don't have to stretch your hand out. You can just keep it on the grip and go ahead and hit it. I know the blaster is actually compatible with Nerf mags and darts, and that's fine. I would use the mags, but as far as darts go, after testing the Elite darts, they were all over the place, and third-party waffle heads, I didn't get the performance nearly like I did with the ones that were designed for this blaster. I would probably go ahead and invest in some Dart Zone Max darts and the half links, and I would stick to those darts for this platform. Um, but that's a personal preference, so you can do the other ones if you want, but you saw the Elite Dart performance. Man, the power was just way too much for those darts to actually be any sort of accurate in a war. On the front of the blaster, they give you a nice little grip right here, so when you want to prime, you can actually pull back on that. The blaster will perform fine without the muzzle attachment if you don't want it. And overall, there's just a lot to love here for the price of $49.99. And those performances on the range, my God, with the dart zone darts, half length and full, 
I was literally hitting the target at over 100 feet away. Now, could I reach ranges of 125? Yeah, I think I could if I arced the blaster and took a nice aimed shot in low wind conditions. And if you were to do a spring upgrade on this blaster, I'm sure you could hit those ranges without arcing the blast. One word of caution to those of you who have younger kids like I do, this blaster platform would be one that I would not play with with them. One, it shoots too hard. If you were to hit them, they would most likely end up crying, especially if they are much younger than the recommended age, which is 14 plus for this blaster platform. Two, they're also gonna have a problem priming this blaster. My son, who's actually pretty strong, he really struggles with this big time. He does like to shoot it if I prime it, but I would not, definitely not take this to your family Nerf War where you're gonna be hitting younger kids. Teenagers and above, yo, I'ma have at it, rip them up. Just make sure you're wearing eye protection because this thing shoots like a monster. So if you ask me to rate this blaster based on my feelings, I would definitely give it a five out of five and definitely tell you that this is probably gonna be one of the top springers for 2021. Dart Zone's killing it from everything I've touched to theirs this year. And the Striker is one of the blasters leading the way. If you enjoyed this review of the Dart Zone Max Striker, I'll see you next time.